Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a Diamond Brook Lopez gameplay. But before we dive any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we're in the road to 40,000 subscribers. Obviously, if you guys are aware, Brook Lopez did come out in this new idol set, which we got a ton, a ton, a ton of good players. Now, I wasn't able to do all of the gameplays, I honestly wanted to right away and so we're gonna be doing some gameplays today brooke lopez is one of those guys i'm very very high on the card and when he first got released i was absolutely stunned by how truly good this card looked seven feet tall 270 pounds 93 three ball and 75 driving dunk. handling the ball is not what brooke lopez is going to give you 94 block as well as a 94 interior defense so as far as interior defense is concerned he's a top guy in the game Perimeter defense, on the other hand, isn't that great. 59 perimeter defense, rebounding, 92 offensive, and 92 defensive rebounder. 70 speed, which I would like to see a little bit higher, as well as that 74 lateral quickness. So, if you want to compare Brook Lopez, I think he's kind of a mix in between like a Chris Bosh, Tim Duncan, uh, and Rudy Gobert type of card. Probably closer to the Tim Duncan and Rudy Gobert's of the world. Looking at the tendencies here, an 80 driving dunk tendency. Hopping on down to the defensive tendency, which is a 90 contest shot tendency, as well as a 90 block shot tendency. Now, the one thing I will say about Brooke Lopez is I was in some 250K streams, and actually some people that were trying to qualify for 250 was running this Brooke Lopez card. So that kind of caught my eye, and maybe I was missing something with the card. Hall of Fame corner specialist brick wall. Brick wall is a huge badge to have. Rim protector box, intimidator post lockdown, and set shooter. So very good badges on next gen. We'll look at the badges on current gen as well. Gold catch and shoot, drop step or rebound chaser, task defender, worm, back down, punisher, anti freeze. Does come with deep threes, hot shot, green machine, hot zone, hunter, tyler shooter, and volume shooter as well. So obviously he does have those five badge spots. And if you're looking at what badges to give him, you're probably looking at the defensive badges like heart crusher and receptor of the world maybe if you want. just play on next gen blinders but that means on current gen he doesn't have steady shooter so kind of decide what you play on you definitely want to make sure you don't add steady shooter but if you look at the card he comes pretty complete overall looking at brook here let's check out the hot spots from the top of the key and both corners so honestly not bad and i know a lot of people don't like his release like a lot of people and when i say a lot of people no, I mean a lot of people don't like his release. But for me personally, I liked Elgin Baylor. Did I ever like Elgin Baylor on Next Gen? No. Okay, that's the first thing I want to state. I didn't like Elgin Baylor's release on Next Gen nearly as much as I did on Current Gen. Maybe it's just part of how much I used him on Current Gen and just that I was lazy in making that transition. But I absolutely loved Elgin Baylor on Current Gen. But when it came to Next Gen, I just never really got a feel for 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 his release or anything like that so that's just something for brooke lopez to, to take into consideration do i think he's going to be better on current gen or next gen i honestly think he's going to be a better current gen player but does that mean he can't play on next gen no it doesn't it just means as far as what i like him better on probably current gen we'll see dribble six obviously you're not going to dribble the ball with him anyways so that those truly do not matter just give me a dunk brooke lopez the main thing you're going to see from brooke lopez in shooting around is his release the rest of it doesn't really matter and i don't know if is if it's on quick or not i could actually look for you guys uh and, and i will i'll let you guys know but his release is very very smooth that's the one thing i will say uh, i personally have never minded the brooke lopez base i know a lot of people whether it be current gen next gen just hate the release like dbg absolutely hates this release and so if you hate the release you're probably not going to like brooke lopez but for me personally i didn't mind elgin baylor i felt like i agreed more with elgin baylor in competitive type settings then a guy, let's say, um, like Cam Reddish. That's just my personal opinion. Now, is that the majority of people's opinion? Probably not. Most people like Cam Reddish's release over Elgin Baylor's. And, and I'm not going to say I don't, but I'm just saying as far as consistent greens, I feel like Elgin Baylor really did it for me. And so if Brooke Lopez could give me that in a pick and pop type setting with Hall of Fame Brick Law, I think he has a chance of being very, very, very elite. Obviously, looking at the badges here. Shooting wise is where you need everything, right? He's got range extender, he's hot zone hunter, catch and shoot, Hall of Fame corner specialist, pick and popper, no steady shooter, and then defensively. You guys can see what I see. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm excited to use Brooke Lopez. I really, really am. He's a card like when he first came out and I saw his release, I thought I would like the card. Just because I did personally, I, whoa, he just stunned. He just stunned my Baron Davis right there. But I personally did like the Elgin Baylor that I ran with for a while. So I have a feeling I'm going to like this Brooke Lopez card. Yo, can you just get off of me? Chill, 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 chill. All right, come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Baron. Chill. Like, 
He be hacking. I see this guy on defense, though. He moving and groove. Uh-oh. Back to the... Oh, okay, chill, chill, chill. I need a Hall of Fame brick wall here. There it is. Hall of Fame brick wall. Freeing up Baron Davis for a green light. And that's what you'd love to see from Brooke. Come here, back to me. The thing about Brooke Lopez is you want to make sure you do not dribble with the car. Because if you dribble with Brooke Lopez, it's just you're in for a long, long night. There's just Ooh. no way he got a 54% on that. I feel like it's just the, the factor of the Bro having Brook Lopez on the court. Up to him. He's running the court. Yes, he might not be able to dribble or jump very high. But his speed is not the worst. I didn't say that was going to be a lightly. Yes, sir, Brooke. Come on, chill. Over to him. Knockdown. It's got to be knocked down. My fault, Brooke. Yes, sir. Getting it to go. I got a green, though. Who is this? Is this Nate Archibald he's got on the court? I just don't know about that decision. Back to Brooke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I knew that one was in. From the hot spot, top of the key, I just had a feeling that one was going to drop. Good shot there by Brooke. You shot. Oh, it's JoJo White. That's who it is. Brooke with a board. And he, I feel like he's on the verge of just getting out of here. He knows what it is. He knows what he's up against with Brooke Lopez. Another one, pick and pop, Brooke. I can't get that one to go. That was really my fault, though. Just look at the Brooke Lopez screens that he's setting. It's absolutely crazy. Freeing up my guys for the pick and pop, and yeah, he's going to do stay attached. Now that's fine. Watch what happens. Chill, Wade. What do I do to hurt your feeling? Yo. Yo, can y'all just chill today? Let's see how he guards the pick and roll. Is he going to stay attached to Brooke? That's the setting you wanted to make. Hey, you want to make the setting to stay attached to Brooke? That's fine. I got other guys that can do some things. Uh-oh. That's fine. I, I thought I would take over. I'd try to get it to go. And even if I if I got the release timing down, that shot might have dropped. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at Brooke snagging the rebound. I feel like Brooks' vertical is bad. I don't know if that's that's that important, but I feel like he never jumps up for rebounds again. You want to stay attached is basically then goes to a five out, and it's just going to be impossible to guard. What do I got to do to get that done? I don't know. Yes, sir. Switch to KG. Thank you. There it is, Brooke. Knocked down. Thank you. Yes, sir. You better start staying more attached because if he gets any sort of light, he's going to knock it down. Oh, yes, sir. Good defense. No way. Oh, my word. I just, I mean, if he doesn't switch to KG, I know what it is. I know it's an easy dunk, but the moment he switches to KG is the moment I got a chance to do something. Oh, he didn't, never mind. He didn't even switch to KG there, and I thought I got an open look. Just couldn't quite get it to go. Come on. Or thank you, Brooke. Run. Joe, 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 get it out of his hands before you turn it over. Y'all see me bay him? Y'all see me bay him? Oh my word! He just gotta, he just gotta stay attached because any sort of look I can get with Brooke, I'm gonna try to get it because the way he's playing defense is just, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna get that many looks with him. So I gotta create some myself. Good defense. Uh oh, don't leave Brooke. I'm telling you, don't leave Brooke. I told you not to leave Brooke, and you know what you did? You left Brooke Lopez. I don't know why. I don't know how he got open, but every time he gets open, I got to make sure to capitalize. Oh, that's a good bait. That's fine. Yes, sir, Brooke. That's fine. Good defense. Yup. Hoff Intimidator popping up. I love to see it, Brooke. Chill. Do not leave him. Have you not learned your lesson? Anytime he gets open, it is going to be green. Say goodbye. My final takeaway on Brook Lopez is I love the card. At least on next gen, his shot was smooth. And I know it's smooth on cringe gen because I used Elgin Baylor for legitimately the longest time. So the fact that he's going for 30 or 39,000, 40,000, that's a pretty decent price for Brook Lopez. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm actually going to put mine back up because I don't exactly need the card because I already got Chris Bosch. But he is basically a Chris Bosch, Tim Duncan, Rudy Gobert. Put all those guys together. 
And that's what Brook Lopez gives you. Like, I personally like the card. I, I really, truly did. And if I didn't have Chris Bosh already, if I didn't have Blake, I might run, you know, Chris Bosh and, and Brook Lopez as my two centers, for example. But it's just there's, there's, there's starting to be some more budget center depth. You even have, like, Sean Kemp is, is a little more budget budget kind of price but i think he's pretty comparable in in how i look at him overall to chris bosh i still think i'd take chris bosh over uh, over brooke lopez obviously is why i'm keeping chris bosh for the time being just because he's a little bit faster uh, and i think his shot's just a little bit smoother than brooke lopez but no doubt about it brooke lopez is a very very elite he's very elite for the price he goes for if you compare him to david robinson or, or guys like that give me brooke lopez 10 times out of 10 but i hope you guys did enjoy the video Guys, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.